So when you're framing and you have point loads come down onto the floor like that, now all the floor joists run this way, so we've got good support there. So, but make sure you remember, now this isn't for all you professional framers and builders out there. This is for people who are trying to do projects on their own. One thing to remember, make sure you put squash blocks underneath every point load. So we have a point load there, a point load there. We actually have another one that runs up inside there because there's uh, rafters, uh, trusses that sit there. We also have another point load back in there. You can see all of the six by six nailed together because we have a beam up inside there. So, and then the same over here, there's actually, I can't see it here. You can see it here. We have a point load way over there. There's a post, LVL post that runs down to the floor there and we have to put squash blocks in. So I'm gonna take underneath and show you. So this is what I mean by squash blocks. So you can see here, so there's our floor joist. And then we actually, we actually, for this one, we used LVL squash blocks. And all we did is we glued them in. We actually PL'd plywood on the side of the uh, floor joist there. And then we used LVL because there's a point load right above this. So it, was, it sits on top of the plywood, but there's a lot of weight that comes down there. Plus then we sat it on top of the beam here. And this beam here is supposed to pick up all of that weight there. But actually, we're going to take it even even a step further. We don't have to put a um, we don't have to put a post in here, but we are going to put a post right underneath this beam as well, just for extra precaution. We don't have to; it doesn't call for it in the drawing, but we are going to. And then we did the same over there. So on that side, you can see we used uh, two by six for squash blocks, and we glued PL them all in and nailed them. That way, there's zero chance of that moving. You can see we had to put another one in there. So everywhere there's a point load, we actually put these squash blocks. That picks up the weight, so there's no movement. It's continuous wood right from the roof all the way down to the concrete, which there's a strip footing right underneath there. You can see that's, that's actually a supporting wall right there. That actually picks up weight of some floor joists. So, and there's, a, there's actually a wall that goes right above it, I'll show you. So there you can see it, it actually runs all the way up, right up to our trusses. So that weight load comes all the way down. So we had to put uh, a wall underneath it. Um, anyways, so yeah, just make sure, remember to put your squash blocks on any point load. So things like that, things like that, anywhere there's a load that comes all the way down from the roof, it should actually go right down to your footing. So anyways, until next time, happy building, happy renovating.